in our research, we look at the kind of we call the uninformative advertising. It's uh, you can think of an image advertising, advertising which we see a lot in real world, in advertisement which they don't mention anything about specific product attribute at all. So this is kind of puzzling to us because advertising is such a costly activity. Phones spend so much money to do advertisement. The purpose of advertisement to to inform something about the product to consumers. They want to let consumer know about something about the product, but image advertising or uninformative advertisement, which we call, they do not mention anything specific about product attribute. So this is puzzling. I think traditionally what people, when they, when they thought about image advertising, what they focused on were kind of the details of what images do the companies use? You know, how do these images become powerful? How do they persuade people? Uh, and so they, they focus on the psychology of images. But we have sort of more of an economics perspective on this. Mm. And so the perspective we have is that um, it's, it's about quality signaling. So you know, what is it that, you know, what is it that the consumers are trying to figure out from ads is, where, is basically how good is this product and is it worth for me to spend money on this product. And so we present, we have an, an analytical model, a game theory model, uh, where we say, that look, you know, basically the intuition is the following. So there's, you know, different types, three types of products. There's a product that's really excellent, so it's good at everything, every dimension possible. There's a product that's really terrible, it's sort of terrible on everything. And then there's a product that's mediocre, and it's good in some dimensions, and it's sort of okay or terrible in others. And so what, what happens is in advertising, you can only choose because it's 30 seconds or two minutes, you know, it's, it's, very, it's very short. You can only choose to focus on a few attributes. And so the problem is that if you only choose to focus on a few attributes, it's hard for the really excellent product to separate itself from the kind of mediocre product that's just good in one thing. So instead, what a credit card or what a product can do is they can just sort of not say anything. They can put a nice image, some nice music, and instead what they know is going to happen is that the consumer is going to be uncertain. The consumer will not know, well, is this a really terrific product or is this a really terrible product? That's why they're not mentioning anything. And so to resolve their uncertainty, the consumer will go and do something about it, which is they'll do search on their own. What we show in our model is that what, there's like sort of this counterintuitive result that the really terrible product and the, the wonderful product choose to not say anything. And the, the terrible product does it because it doesn't have anything great to say. And the really great product does it because it wants to create uncertainty to encourage the consumer to search. The main intuition behind this model is following. So if you are really, really great, you have a lot to say, you better not to say. You play cool. 